How's it going everybody? Today we're out here at Memorial Mini Golf and Museum in Buda, Texas. This is probably one of the hardest mini golf courses I think we have ever played. So place your bets if you're Team Alicia or your Team Brooks, who you think's gonna win? This should be a lot of fun, let's get it started. So each hole here has a theming to World War II. So this one's Blitzburg, and what I'll do is, if you guys wanna pause on these plaques in between each hole, you guys can so you can read that, and we will get started. It is a par three. Will it kick back? Oh, thank you, little grass wall. Oh. I'm on the sand. Oh, so close. Almost. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm following you. Dang it. I'm getting it there. Oh, I was trying to read the break. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead. Wow. It's like it's flat this way and then it's leaning this way. Starting it off with that double bogey. Thankfully, I'm confident right here. You've got a single bogey. Our right, next up for hole two, Dunkirk themed. Again, here's the plaque if you guys want to pause and read it. It's a par three and it's really hard to tell on camera. I'm gonna try to level for you guys and get low. How much, yeah, you guys can see how much it is breaking and leaning to the right. With it being a par three, that's gonna be tough because the hole's back there on the left side. Definitely going high. Oh, I clipped the rock. Hey, at least I didn't roll off. I mean, I'll take that. I think if it wouldn't have clipped that rock, it would have kept going really well. That's true. Also, like aiming like for it to get right at the like two inch line, like near that plant, like the little flower sticking oh. up, but it didn't work. Yeah, I didn't hit that hard enough. I could tell when I hit that. Need a little more oomph. At least you didn't roll off. <laughs> oh. So I'm still not sure exactly how high to aim this. I kind of get to try to ride right on the edge of the blue in the green turf. That didn't work. Oh, that's going rocks. I'm working my way back up. Okay. Aim a lot higher than you think. Wow. I have no clue how slow this is gonna roll out of this. Cause it's thick and it's all uphill. What's it? At least it sat there. Let's go ahead and bring it up in case a breeze comes. Hey, bogey's better than double bogey like the last hole. Yours is gonna be hard cause this is all downhill. So you, I would like barely get it off of that and hope it just rolls. That's a really hard putt for Alicia cause it is all downhill. Four. Oh, that was really close. Where's it gonna sit? What level? <laughs> Fudge sickles. Oh my gosh. Help me count. This is gonna be for six. Okay. Doing fantastic. And then you sit. All right, now for hole three, it is the Battle of Britain. If you guys want to check that out. A par four for this one. And wait, what? How in the world? So this is all downhill slanting to the right. And then you want to try to level it out to get to the hole way back there. Oh my goodness. My assumption is you almost want to aim for that wing and let it stop and then work your way up? I'm not exactly sure. See, I don't know if you wanna like hit that wing as like a stopping point and then work your way over. Yeah, I think I'm so, because there's walls back there. So I think it's like a more of a, yeah, like putting course, you work your way there. I was gonna say, yeah. If I try to hit that, I'm gonna go on the rock. I'll say, yeah. See, that's the scale. You don't go for it, then you hit it. <laughs> oh, 
hope that was hard enough. Hey, what's up, Rock? <laughs> Trying to go really high and let it curve over. Stop. I feel like it's not that bad. Yep, didn't hit it hard enough. Okay. It heard me. It heard me say I might be able to get a three on a par four, and it's like, no. You take that par and you'd be happy about it. <laughs> this is replacing my green wall. <laughs> Still counts. Sit. Good ball. Go with the hole. There we go. One thing's for sure, the theming of this place being the World War II theme that it has. Oh, wow. Is next level. I mean, look at this. And we're actually filming this. By the time you guys see the video, it'll be open to the public. We're filming it still before it's fully open. So we're seeing it kind of pre-finished. And it's insane. It's incredible how big and themed this place is. Uh, down there, like the... Like the medical? Yeah. This is really cool. And so hole four is themed to Pearl Harbor. You guys can read it right there if you want to. Yeah. Really incredible de like design for this place. And the carpet's so squishy. On top of my shoes being squishy. It's still, it definitely looks like it's leaning back to the left. So I'm gonna try to go really high right and just get somewhere maybe on the white turf. Oh wow, that's thick. That's really thick. You've got to hit that hard. Man, that is thick. Hmm. Let's line it up. Okay. Maybe? Oh, so close. Go ahead, don't be blocking me. Okay. I'll take that. Maybe we're just warming up to it. Again, we haven't played a putting course in I don't know how long. So this is definitely a learning curve for us getting back used to it. See where I said I might find something else? This is thick. <laughs> Found something else. Keep the count alive, y'all. All right, next up for hole five, we have the Atlantic Blockade. Again, here's the plaque if you guys want to pause it and read that for some information. And it is a par three, but this is cool. So you can launch it through the pipe, out the periscope, back there towards the hole. I have no idea how hard to hit it or how close it's gonna get, but that just looks like it's gonna be awesome. So it comes out of that? Yeah, so it launches straight out the top. Woo. That's cool. There it goes. Ooh. You didn't roll off. You're getting lucky. Oh, that's going straight. Slow down. Okay. Wow. Finally. That was the first birdie of the game. Great shot. It's my first two of the game, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Maybe. Again, I'm hitting it like really worn in mini golf turf. I keep just not thinking how thick this is going to be with how it rolls. Your two look real good on that one, didn't it? <laughs> now for hole six, this one is North Africa. And it is a par three. This is the most straightforward out of any one we had so far. We're back to the, your favorite thick turf. I'm just gonna give this a little bit because I feel like the hill's gonna carry most of the way down. Whoa, aim left. Definitely aim left. <laughs> I'm in the sandbags. So yeah, I'd say aim like a little left of the hole and it doesn't take much at all. Mine's going straight. I 
Maybe. Oh, so close. But it is par. All right. Now for hole seven. This is the Italian campaign is the theme for this hole. And a pretty straightforward shot. It's hard to tell. I don't think it's really breaking a whole lot to the left or the right. It might do a little bit to the left at the start, but it seems like it levels off kind of past the shadow of that tree. Y'all know. I gotta say it. <laughs> Tried going high. Take that. I'll say that's almost impossible having a ride up against that. I'll go ahead. Still a great Crazy. three. No. I wanted to get a two so bad. I'll settle for a three. Hole eight, we have the eighth Air Force for the theme it is another par three. So we start here. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. I love where the hole is on this one. And you get to take off this little ramp. That'd be nice. Hmm, it's a little off center. So I'm trying to figure out where to aim. Need some more. I got my two. Look at you. Nice. Two. Next up for hole nine, we got the midway. And it is a really wide open space for this one. Okay. Pretty good. Nice, another two. I might need another one, I'm not sure. I'm not there yet. Get it, Rosie. So now for hole 10, this is the Women of War. The theming for this one. Hmm. I actually didn't know the history That's really like cool. behind that. That's cool. One thing's for sure, one nice thing about playing this place is you get a lot of history. If you're into that, you'll love this place. Another par three. Oh, look how the turf, the thicker green is kind of blocking its way in. Maybe you can see that. Hmm. I'm going right to it. Okay, I just wanted to land on it because if it got stuck behind it, I'd be in a lot of trouble. That's looking, oh, it's cutting back. At least you're on, on one it. one and I'm on the other. <laughs> We just want to get a nice view. Look at that. I got it. Maybe I took me one more hole. Maybe that's what it was. Just enough. Very nice. All right, next up for hole 11. This one is themed to D-Day. And it is a par five. And according to the owner, the world's longest par five for a mini golf course. So we start here all the way up this massive straightaway. You have to cut it back past all those right there to the flag right there. Place your bets on what you think we're gonna get on this one. And the sketchy part is we have all these obstacles blocking our way as well. You know when the stance winds is about to get hardcore. That's kind of what I wanted to do, so. Cause I know I'm not getting it in one. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. He did mention there might be a shortcut up here. So there is an opportunity to find something when we get up to the top. This is crazy. Stay in. I am in the turf, but I'm still on the course. <laughs> so let's see what's going on up here. So Alicia, it looks like if you really got it right, you could try to cut through that thicker grass and kind of make it in between the second and the third wall. Yeah, I'm not that confident. I'm 
I'm slowly making my way. Stop, Paul. Huh. We wanted to sit in the shade. I don't blame her. <laughs> so actually the shortcut might not be installed yet. So we're going to be working our way all the way around. And I don't see myself not going in the rocks here. So I don't know what to do. I'll tell you hard enough to get out. You know what? That worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Now it's going to be finding speed to get to get down there and stay. <laughs> if it wouldn't have hit that rock, it would have kept going too. <laughs> like I might be able to try to like line it up, but not from here. I can't. That's not a bad idea. Cause that will definitely save you a stroke getting to the back half over there. I'm actually going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring mine down sit and then i might be able to put it across here and try to get to maybe sit in that thicker turf right before the hole if i don't get stuck in the rocks i am putting it out of those rocks <laughs> <laughs> i worked that hard that's really good i'm committing to this i'm dedicated How crazy would it have been if it would have kept rolling all the way in? It's a seven, but come on, it's a par five. Remember that, y'all. I mean, that's that's insane. It looks like it slopes back to the like towards your direction up there. So if you cur you can probably curve it a little bit. Might kick. Wow. For a split second, I thought I was gonna keep curving back. Now for 12, we have the Liberation of Paris for the theming. It is another par three, and we have the Eiffel Tower. Oh man, look at where the hole is right on the edge Good. on that left side. Whew. Oh no. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was breaking a little bit more to the left, and I was trying to like curve it into the Eiffel Tower but thankfully it was straight and it went around it. Crap. I was just trying to lay it up. I was afraid if I tried to get it really hard out of that, it would end up way down there. <laughs> it really slows it down. Now for 13, we have the Battle of the Bulge. And this one actually has, it's a par four, has a shortcut. So you can go all the way around, back to the flag back here, or as you're starting here, you can take the risk, either in one stroke or two, go across the bridge through the rocks, back over towards the hole. It's definitely sketchy to do it in one, but you could easily do it in two, and I feel like maybe save you a stroke. I'm going for it. It is all downhill except for the very end, so it might be able to pick up speed. I mean. I'm happy with it. You can't get much better than that. You know, if there's a shortcut, I gotta take it. What's up? Hello. I think it was worth it. Yeah. It's still so hard to know how much to compensate for those. Yeah, it sent it mine off. It was going straight and then when it hit it, it curved it. Oh. Oh. You get a four and I get a four. We both get a four. 
14, the theme is the Flying Tigers. This one, pretty straightforward. There is definitely some break back and forth along the way up, but a pretty straightforward shot. I did not mean to aim that far left. But I'm still on. It's that really thick turf again. <laughs> yes. Ah. That was still a fantastic shot. That was still really good. Thank you. All right, 15 is the Rhine crossing for the theme. And this might be my favorite one just because we got a ramp and that's a good maybe three feet it's gotta go. You can't go across the bridge, but let's be real. Is that as fun? Normally, once this place is fully open, that's gonna have water running through it also. It's gonna be a little river or a little pond, but for now, again, we're here before it opens to the public, so everything's not on yet. That's a very skinny ramp, so it's maybe a foot wide. I'm in. Woo! Oh, that's going too fast, that's gone. I guess you're well, going on- Well, I guess on... I'm taking a drop, huh? You went on to the next hole. It looked like a good one too. Look how big it is. Look, I'm taking a drop. <laughs> I'm playing one at a time. One's long enough. I was I got too ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll be taking a drop back over there. From one side to the other. Yeah, he just wanted to go explore the next hole. He was curious. It's a really big hole. So I guess this will be for my stroke too, and I'll just put it, I guess, right here. I guess. So this will be for stroke three. And stroke four. Ah. Oh, so close. We both get a four. Now for 16 is Pacific Island Hopping Campaign. It is a par, oh, par four, okay. Oh, wow, that is a lot of turf to try to get it through. That's tough. Oh no. Oh, that's a bad spot. It's crazy too, because this green is one thickness, the blue is another, and then the thicker green is thicker than both of those. So you have a bunch of different things that kind of play into it to slow you down or speed you up. I thought I was gonna hit it way too hard and it was clearly nowhere close to hard enough. Oh, that's great. And you're gonna, and you cleared that. It's probably my best hole yet. That's an amazing shot. That's really good. We're working in progress. That's all it's about. You had a great spot. Girl, you just got an eagle. But hey, I still got a three. I'll take that too. Now for 17, this one is in recognition of African-Americans fighting for our freedom. Again, pause if you want to read the plaque right here. It is a par three, pretty straightforward shot. If you can clear that little gap between the thicker turf, looks like you're going right at it. Will it kick? Can't complain. It's pretty good. Thought I've been too hard. I'm in the rock. One cool thing about this place is, unlike a regular mini golf course though, this is definitely a place you could return back to because like it's all skill. So yeah. like every time you come and play it, you're gonna learn more and play better probably each time if you live around here. So that's a really cool thing about this. And if you guys haven't caught on by now, from all the videos we've made, clearly we are more luck-based mini golf players versus skill-based, purposefully, because we play for fun. But this is definitely a really cool change of pace for us. And time for the last hole, Japan Surrenders is the theme for the final hole. It is a par three. You start kind of off center and work your way down. Everything is breaking to the left the entire way down too with this road, that's cool. 
You're I'm on driving the wrong down side the road. Of the road, Brooks. I ran off the road. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Okay. Oh, it's breaking back. Stop, please, stop. Okay. Woo. Nice finish. That was great. I was destined to end with a four. I started with a four, I end with a four, we bookended it perfectly. That was something. <laughs> that was difficult. I can't even speak. <laughs> that was definitely hard. I think I think this now passes Disney for the world's hardest mini golf course. I'd agree. I can pretty confidently say that. Are you ready for the scores? Uh-huh. So par was 60. If the scores are correct, a lot happened in this video, y'all saw. You had 68. So I was eight gonna over say par. 70 something. I feel like eight over par is not that bad for our first time playing here. I had 64. So it was only a four stroke game. So I feel like for us playing it for the first time and again, not being like professional putters or anything by any means, I feel like we did pretty good. I feel like there's, there's a high five. But guys, definitely come check this place out. Again, by the time you see this video, it should be all completely open to the public. Definitely come check this place out. A lot of fun. But thank you all for watching this video. Subscribe if you're new. Have a great day. And we'll see you all very soon in the next one. Bye. Later.